Drug agents are cracking down on illegal marijuana in Colorado. Today, they raided eight suspected grow houses, all in the mid middle of busy residential neighborhoods. Homes in Thornton, Federal Heights, Aurora, and Denver were just some of the ones targeted. CBS 4 Sean Chitness live at the DEA headquarters in Centennial. Sean, agents tell you they found a lot more than just illegal pot. Yeah, Jim, two separate but very serious crimes happening at the same time. This was a joint effort by the DEA as well as the Metro Denver Area Auto Theft Task Force. Now, marijuana, of course, being grown on the black market, one of the issues, but then at the same time, stolen cars illegally sold and sometimes being used to move that drug in and out of our state. The Drug Enforcement Agency and other law enforcement officers were in one neighborhood after the other, eight total collecting evidence and making arrests. In some cases, illegal marijuana grow operations and stolen luxury cars, like this Lamborghini we saw in Thornton. There's a lot of vehicles um, for sale online. Some are legitimate, some are not. And I'm just gonna reiterate that old phrase, if it's too good a deal to seem to be true, it probably is. They seized high-end cars. Investigators say they were sometimes used to help move the marijuana from state to state but oftentimes they were illegally sold, victims not knowing they were stolen. The grow operations were in quiet neighborhoods where the homes did not stand out. Neighbors were often suspicious of what was happening, not surprised to find out today there was a drug ring operating out of these homes. There is not a neighborhood in probably Colorado that's not affected by this. I'm talking million dollar plus homes all the way down. So altogether today, 17 cars were recovered worth around $1.2 million. We're told that they are still looking for two suspects tonight, but they don't believe there's any threat to the public. Live tonight in Centennial, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first.